despite the fact that Anek Shema Mahmoud Yakubu put us in danger when he granted Bola Tinubu a certificate of return, Labour Party Vice Presidential Candidate Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed has warned President Bari and Justice Olukayode Ariwolu against swearing in Tinubu. Baba Ahmed, who spoke in an interview with Channel Television, it is constitutionally wrong to swear him Bola Tinubu as the next president of Nigeria because APC failed to meet the requirement of Section 134, Subsection 2A and B of Nigerian Constitution for election into the office of the president. Bola Tinubu was not legally entitled to be elected president because he received less than 25% of the vote in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. And as a result, he cannot be sworn in. He further emphasized that the Nigerian president should ensure that the constitution is not broken. He said, I'm warning Bari and CJN not to, risk, not to risk their lives to hold inauguration and swear in Tinubu. You cannot swear in people who haven't met the constitutional requirement. You can't do that. If you do it, you have done something unlawful, something unconstitutional. Dear esteemed viewers, feel free to drop your comments below and also share our video, our posts to other news platforms and with your loved ones, okay? Let's look at the comment section to see what we have in the comment section. Do you agree with him? It says uh, Tinubu do not meet some question requirements. Uh, to, you, you know, winning, uh, having a uh, vote of, uh, uh, you know, having a total vote of 25% from uh, the FCT. So for the that, for that, he, he does not, you know, meet the requirement of the uh, constitution. So he should not be sworn in. And there is a warning. Do you agree with Baba Ahmed? Is he, you know, he, he talking well? What he said is—is is it well said? Uh, please uh, drop your reaction in the comment section, and your voice be heard loud and clear. Okay. Um. Gray Gray says uh, he should be on the watch list of DSS cause that sounds like a national threat by someone who has something fishy in his pocket okay and according to gray uh, peter replied to gray saying uh, yes or no you are talking to your useless mother okay felis ajayi did uh, commented let's see what uh, felis ajayi is saying uh, stay tuned please felis ajayi says uh, is dirty in his right frame of mind is dirty in his right frame of mind, that's according to Felis Ajayi. Then, uh, Adesanya here says, uh, You will be alive when the swearing will take place. Quote me, You will be alive when the swearing will take place. Quote me, okay. Then, a uh, plus two to really reply to Adesanya saying, uh, Adio Mobo, even if Dati and Obi are in the grave, their disciples will carry the message to them. Dati should be on security watch at. Adaka Boro uh, also replied to Plus Tutiri saying, uh, May your Tinibu and Shetima be in the grave, useless idiot. Kabiru, my video, Olota video, says, uh, Violent party turned Labour Party that will labor in fiasco. Okay. Easy man Musa here also commented saying uh, this man will soon be arrested. Hatred speech. Okay. Then Boyonko, yeah, Boyonko here says a uh, a threat to Mr. President. And CJN is a threat to entire patriotic Nigerians. A threat to Mr. President and CJN is a threat to entire patriotic Nigerians. Then BJ says, and be ready for jail term if anything bad happens to Nigeria as a country. 
and be ready for a jail term if anything bad happens to Nigeria as a country. Otumba Sodik Kifu says uh, this sounds threatening, though DSS should beware. This sounds threatening, though DSS should beware. Then Banaba says uh, you are not educated, Mr. Dati. If you were, this is just a political contest and we are not at war just because you lost. Tijani Suleiman says, uh, pick this dirty amen now. What kind of country are we? Everyone will talk nonsense and go free. Igwe Damian Shidi says, uh, see bunch of criminals commenting. See bunch of criminals commenting. See bunch of criminals commenting. Sting here says, uh, see who is warning PMB, something wrong somewhere. DSS over to you. Something is wrong somewhere, DSS over to you. Right? See you taking more reactions. Don Silas Oka Koso. Don Silas Oka Koso says, uh, Nigeria is a country where you have freedom of speech but after speech there is no freedom let him continue to talk maybe he never know how many people are behind bars today for wrong statements okay right there a lot of persons are, are in jail today for you know uh, spilling out a uh, uh, wrong things and the uh, they don't know when they will be out of a, a prison or so. Alright, uh, we we'll still here uh, taking more reactions. Uh, stay tuned, please, as we take more reactions, okay? Uh, stay tuned. Having some network issues now. Uh, stay tuned, please, as we. Uh, with the uh, network, please. Olami Adenika says, I'm a Yoruba man who means no harm or intends to cause further verbal chaos. However, if INEC had not declared Tinibu too quickly, even when all election results had almost not been gathered, then there would be no suspicious against APC's victory. It's just as if it had been planned. And before you know it, Tinibu was quickly arranged and declared. However, there should be some calm if something was not fishy. I fear for this country no single rule of law. Friday okay. Okoji, the reply to Olami Adenika saying, uh, What does Yoruba man in this matter? Is it only Yoruba that voted for Tinubu? Of course, not every region in Nigeria voted for Tinubu. South, south, south east, southwest, northeast, northwest, and north central all voted for. Present Asiwaji Bula Ahmed Tinibu, Jagaban of Africa. And this is all we can take for now. Thanks and God bless. Ensure you subscribe to our channel, spread the report, and bye for now. Please, thanks so much, okay? And stay tuned for more, for more broadcasts, please, okay?